Hello everyone and welcome back to Carrie's Beauty Corner. I'm kind of um, ill prepared for this video. I don't normally film in the same clothes I filmed the last one in, but I just forgot to go change my jewelry and my... Anyway, I hope you understand. Today, I'm going with my April favorites. I have a lot of the same thing, different but the same, um, and I don't have a whole, whole lot of products, but I have some different stuff. So if you want to see the products I've been loving for this last month, then stick around because that's coming up next. Alright, where to start? Where to start? I think I'm going to start with some hair products. And I did mention these in my Sephora haul. And I got the mini size and tried them. And I have fallen head over heels in love with these two products. And it is the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo and the Amica... Y'all know how this goes. The Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. And that brings me to the next product that I got that I'm in love with. And that is my Lange Le Duo um, Curling Straightening Implement. Um... I don't have the, the swing of it yet. This is the first time I used it. That's how easy it was. It came out this good. And y'all, these curls aren't going anywhere. And it was simple. Simple, simple, simple. This, I did pay $79 for it. But, if you've priced heating tools, even at Walmart, they have skyrocketed, and I would much rather pay a little bit more for one that I know is going to work well and not burn out on me in a month than I would just to get some from Walmart. And it does have, y'all, it has the swivel um, cord. It has this thick cord, and it's a very long, like a professional cord. Um, it goes all the way up to 430 degrees, and like I said, it does have the fan option that you turn on, which kind of cools, um, like, you, you know, you put it in and you turn it and leave your ends out, and that kind of cools it as you're, you know, as you're coming out of it. And it really does hold it in place. Now, after I sleep on it and, and get up, I might say, holy cow. I don't know yet, but I want to give it a try. I'm, I'm very, very, very excited about this product. And I did purchase the Lange Dry Shampoo and the Lange Thick It Up Cream, but I have not used either one of these yet. But when I do, I will certainly get back to you on that. Now... Makeup favorites. Um, I have discovered, and my other one is downstairs in my purse, but I have discovered that I love the formula of the Bella Pierre Mineral Lipstick. The one I'm wearing right now is in the color Incognito, which it's a little, it's a little brownish nude for me. I normally like something a little more pink, but I have a little more color on my face right now from being at the beach. Yes, I'm going to bring the beach up again. But anyway, so I don't, I don't mind it if I have a little bit of color on my face, but if I don't, it washes me smooth out. Um, then the next thing that I have to say has been a favorite since my purchase last month is this bronzer from Kiko Milano. Um, this is the, I believe it's called, yeah, the Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in Warm Honey. 
and this bronzer color is a little bit warm it doesn't really look like it in the pan um, but it is a little bit a little bit warm but y'all there is something and I don't know if it's because I got this before I went to the beach and I used it at the beach I don't know but it rivals in smell it rivals the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to me. There, there's just something. I love the smell of this product. I love the way it performs. I love the packaging. I just, I, I just love it. And the fact that I paid less than $10 for it makes me love it even more. The next thing I have is from Salon Perfect. And these are, they're called... Tapered Clusters Full Volume 615 Lashes. And it's a, a no-show band. Um, I don't know how well you can see them, but I do have them on now. But, y'all, these lashes, I didn't have to trim them. They were the perfect size for my eyes. And it, they give me length and they give me volume. And I know they don't look natural if you just look at them right here in the packaging but to me they they almost look more natural than some of the other ones that i've been wearing i don't know i just think they're really neat looking i like them a lot um all right the next thing i have um i'm going to have to call my big fail of the month and I thought I'd stick it in the middle so that I don't end the video on a sour note. But they came in this package. I believe there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My bad. They are a gel eyeliner. The company is called, I would pick the one that's hardest to read. Uh, Davis, and they're waterproof protection lip and eyeliner pencil. Um, yeah. When I when I put these right here, they look terrific, right? They don't translate onto the eyes in the same way at all. I cannot get them to lay down in my waterline. I tried to use this white as an under eyeliner um, because I thought, okay, it's showing up pretty good right there. That would be really pretty. Mm -mm, nothing. Um, I'm not even really sure what I would do with a color like this because it's not really purple, it's not really pink, um, which they were $8.99 for $14. If I'm, if I'm able to use any of them, that's great. I didn't spend any more for these than I did for one of the Ulta Beauty gel liners that are $8 that I've really come to like. Um, so, if I get any use out of them at all, I didn't waste my money, but, I mean, y'all, they look so pretty on, and the reviews were really promising. The The reviews, I mean, I want to say it, they have four and a half out of five stars, and I usually trust those Amazon reviews, but they came in and I, t I, I swatched them on my hand, and I was like, oh, these are going to be fabulous. But they just didn't translate onto the eyes the same way. So, that was disappointing. So, moving on. The next thing I have is some brushes. And this one's really dirty, so don't judge me, but I have been using the crap out of it. This is from, okay, I don't know if it's Lys Beauty, Lys Beauty, or L-Y-S Beauty. 
they do sell this brand on Sephora, but they don't have the brushes on Sephora. Um, I got this off of the Least Beauty site, and it was $15, which they just had a 20% off brushes sale. But y'all, I haven't used any other brush since. And I love this Luxie brush. And it is equally as soft, but there's something about this brush that I have just really flipped over. Um, the, the ferrule comes to a triangle, but the, the brush is not like an obvious um, triangle, but it's wonderful because you can, you know, get in these places right here. And I love the long handle on it. I love that it's pink. I, I just love this brush. And the other brushes is this set, and there's one more, but I can't. It's dirty, and I've got it in the... This one's dirty. But there's a flat top kabuki. There's a flat top um, kind of a contour type brush. There's this one that's wonderful for, you can blend concealer out with it. You can even pat powder on with it. Then there's the kind of rounded contour. And then the rounded kabuki. And y'all, these are wonderful. These are wonderful. I did get them. They are Luxie brushes. And I did get them from a Sephora add-on sale. So, I got them for a very reasonable price. But I have darn near forgotten about all of my other foundation brushes. And I find when I use that lease brush, I like to go back and and tap my foundation in with a sponge and I don't have to do that when I use that. So, the last makeup product that I have is a whole 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 bunch of eyeshadow and pigments. I'm going to start um and I feel like I'm channeling Mandy Lee because somehow or another we both purchased these and fell in love with these around the same time. And I just saw that Sabrina did a dedicated video um, for these five pan palettes also. But y'all, these five pan palettes from Wet n Wild are terrific. Now, I've already swatched them. I've already put swatches up um, on the video where I hauled these, so I'm not going to do that again today, but I am going to go through each of the palettes and tell you what the names are and show you the colors up close. Um, this first one is probably my very favorite, and this is the, I think this is the Go Commando, but I think I tore, I think I tore, I think I tore that off, but this is the Go Commando. No, this is the, this is the Get Lucky. Yes, this is the Get Lucky palette. Beautiful. This is the uh, Petalette, which is probably my least favorite. Then the next one is Camo Flaunt, and it does have a pressed glitter in it, which um, is, like, serious. It's very, very pretty, but I just really don't, I really don't do a lot of, of glitters. This one is called Walking on Eggshells, and yes, that is the same name. They started out with um, a three-pan and then a quad, and now they have this one. And I, and I still love it. Still love it. Um, then the next one is... This is the Go Commando. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the one I did in my spicy um, uh, Cinco de Mayo look. Along with this one in Sundazed. Y'all, this one right here blew me away. Look at that. And I did not think I would like these colors on me, but I do. 
Um, the next set of eyeshadows I have that I, I just feel like I've got to give another mention to are these Melted Chrome Shadows from Essence. Um, this one is in the color Warm Bronze. And y'all, they're just so inexpensive. Like the Wet n Wild, they're just ridiculously inexpensive. And you can't, you, you, you can't beat the color payoff. If you're looking for um, a, a very metallic look for your lid, you can't beat these. Um, this one is called Copper Me, and it looks very, very red in the pan, but it does, sh it, you can shear this out. But I mean, y'all, the pigment is insane. I mean, it's pure insane. And the affordability of these just, uh, anyway, I, I could go on and on. Golden Crown is the next one. Okay, is the packaging anything special? No, but the product within, yes, it is. And then this one is in, icon ironic, not iconic. Iconic's a good name, too. Dead. Uh, and here's Iconic across my knuckles. But y'all, dang, they are all so pretty. And the next thing I have that matches it is the AOA pigments. I've also swatched these. These are a buck from Shop Miss A. I got four of them. I've got a... Um, a greenish color. This one is kind of a duochrome. Um, it has a bit of a gold shift to it. Then I have one in a gold and then a, another one in kind of a true green. And then I also got from NYX these Shimmer Down palette, I mean, palettes, Shimmer Down pigments. And these are lovely as well. They have the little shaker top, which, mm hmm if you don't do what I just did, they work really well if you just shake a little bit into the top. But this one is in Walnut. And y'all, my hand's peeling. There you can see. And then this one, this silver one, is, what is this color called? Platinum. It's not called silver. It's called platinum. Which, it's not, to me, it's not quite as intense as the walnut, but you probably could build it up. Or you could mix it with, you know, or use it as a topper to really um, shine up something that's, you know, not quite as vibrant. But dadgum, talk about vibrant. You cannot, you, you can't touch those. And like I said, the affordability is insane. And the last thing I have that I have had in my beauty room for a few weeks now, and I haven't had a chance to talk about her on camera. But I want to introduce you to Lila Lou. Um, I purchased her from a friend of mine that I went to high school with. She used to be my next door neighbor, and we were just the best of friends growing up. And she has become an extremely um, creative um, and wonderful artist. She lives in Florida. But evidently her niece sketched this out and then she took it and did the painting of her. And I saw her and I thought to myself, looking at her with that crown on, I said, she needs to live in my beauty room. So, I purchased her, um, so I can say I have an original piece of art from an up-and-coming artist named Libby Gibbs, and I will put her info in the description box. Um, maybe you can follow her on Facebook and see some of her work. Maybe you could purchase something from her yourself. But anyway, this is Lila Lou, and Lila Lou, if you can see, she lives right here. And I love her. She adds, she adds just the bit of sass that my beauty room needed. So, 
Was there anything else that I wanted to talk about? I don't think so. I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to, let's see, what am I bringing you next? I think I'm going to bring you a wear test on a couple of new products. I have a new concealer from The Ordinary. This is a brand new launch at uh, Ulta. And then I have a liquid blush from Makeup Revolution that I want to give a try. Hi, sissy. Hi. And of course, sissy is a favorite. Sissy is a favorite every month. Or two baby. I know, my darling. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here my other favorite, y'all. Here my other favorite, y'all. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. You stink pot. You stink pot.